are recording, and we're about to be going live in five, four, three, two, we're live. Good morning, Owasso. This is the Twins with Owasso Live, and this is the Morning Loop. It is currently 8 a.m. As usual, it is one degree outside Fahrenheit, so it is very, very cold out, and we got a high of 23 degrees today. Um, right now, there's not a lot of wind, but it does say there's a wind chill advisory, so it will probably feel significantly colder, even if it's going to get up in the 20s today. But like I said, I mean, there's nothing warm about 20. So, um, But I mean, like I said, I guess 20 is 20 degrees higher than what it is now. So shoot. It's just, it's been rough. Like I said, yesterday we uh, were, I mean, all uh, the office that we were in was open, but uh, we were shoveling lots, the lot down here for majority of the day. So just uh, that was a, a long day and lots of shoveling, lots of ice mucking. But like I said, it really wasn't too bad. Like we've definitely had worse snowstorms or worse ice storms and stuff so this one's pretty mild all things considered it stayed powder for the most part so now this morning is like i said this is when it's going to be worse is today you know because there's a little bit of meltage happening on top of roofs and in certain asphalt and concrete areas and that's going to freeze over and be black ice but for the most part the roads the primary roads and throughout the city are not too bad like i said your sub streets and subdivision roads those are what you're going to be slipping and sliding on, so be more careful out there. But just be careful in general. It is still unbelievably cold. I don't imagine the sun's going to make it feel much warmer at all today. So just be safe out there. Traffic conditions going into Tulsa are pretty fair. There's not a lot of traffic issues at all right now, surprisingly. you know, I figured we'd be seeing slow pokes worried about the ice, but like I said, it's really not the case. I mean, traffic's slowing very well into Tulsa and back from Tulsa, so... Just uh, your commute's looking pretty good, but like I said, again, be safe on your little subdivision streets and side streets and whatnot. That's where you're going to probably have your primary issues and see people who are just a little bit overcompetent or not paying attention. So like I said, be a safe and defensive driver today. And like I said, you might uh, check out and get an insurance quote from Mike Watson's Allstate office <laughs> if you're not uh, – currently insured or your rates are going up like i said this market is absolutely crazy right now so like i said shop your rates because you can probably do better than if you especially if you've been saddled up with the same company for a while now now with that being said as far as news around goes there is the uh chamber of commerce annual gala that they have it's like their awards gala for the people who are involved in the chamber and that is, you are able to buy tickets to that. It's a James Bond-themed gala, and I believe that's at the Hard Rock Casino is where they're having that shindig. So I'm sure they have a room, rent, one of those you know private rooms rented somewhere, whether it's on the fancy top floors where they do the weddings or if it's kind of near closer to the casino-level floor, yes. which sounds more. It is, yeah, you're correct. It's at the Hard Rock Casino in Tulsa, the 777 West Cherokee Street in Catoosa, um, it says admission fee is $100 if you're a member of the chamber and 110 if you're a non-member. Wow, that. that's really not too bad. <laughs> it's a $10 perk of being a member of the chamber. <laughs> said, But the only other thing going on is that apparently today there is a January Leadership Owasso Yeah, event it's a legislative thing Correct. for and, the chamber. And then there's an, amb no, there's an ambassador meeting, as you know, the chamber ambassador mm -hmm. meeting on the 18th. And that's yep. about it. Yeah, that's those are the real big events going on this week. It's really a again, it's a pretty slow week, and thank goodness, you know, I mean, that kind of worked out it being this slow week with this ice storm that blew in. So, with that being said, in more not global but more uh, federal news, or, yeah, national news. national news. Yeah, we got the Iowa caucus just occurred last night, and it looks like most of the candidates. And the Republican primary are all dropping out because Trump just won the majority. Like the it's a it's first time it's ever happened, but I mean it's like a majority record of like fifty eight percent, which is unheard of in the. And just to clarify, he wasn't even there at the. Well, he wasn't at, the, at any of the Republican primary debates, but it didn't benefit him to be there. I mean he's he was all. I mean that all the candidates who were trying to come up against him were punching way above their weight class when it comes to. You know, being in Trump, I mean, his record when he was president at the time spoke for itself. So, you know, I mean, everybody else was kind of coasting off his laurels. The DeSantis is, I mean, DeSantis did a great job, but like I said, he was better when he was a supporter of Trump than when he was, you know, kind of 
taking rival. His, yeah swings at Trump, and it just didn't work out very well for him. The dark horse was Vivek Ramaswamy, in my opinion. Like, I mean, the guy just he's sharp as attack. He's witty. He's not a he. He will talk to anybody, you know. And a lot of the podcasts and things that I watch, you know, he was on people who did not like him. There, he was on podcasts that were very antagonistic. aggressively antagonistic against him, and he held. He, he was very poised. Uh, he always had great answers to everything that they asked and replied. I mean, like, if you just want to watch and how to be a good speaker and how to deal with people in debates, watch Vivek Ramaswamy. I mean, the guy crushes it. I mean, he's a multi, I think he's a billionaire, but, you know, I mean, yeah. so clearly he's very business savvy. He's, a, his, you know, and the most effective leaders and the most well-off people in the world are effective communicators, and he is definitely an effective communicator. So, uh, you know, Vivek is definitely somebody I would like to maybe see run with Trump for VP or something like that. He, he'd be a great asset to the country. I mean, I don't care about political affiliation, you know. He, he, he could be a Republican or a Democrat for all I care. I mean, he, he, he is a fantastic communicator, and I think he would be an asset for the country at large in general, too. He's against a lot of this very Marxist, pseudo Marxist in disguise policies and things that are coming out there. And I know this is kind of for people who watch this, you know, it's like this, we're not super political on this thing. But like I said, it, if you understand what I'm talking about, you, you definitely understand why Vivek rate rose in popularity so quickly and why he's so, uh, so good. So anyway, it looks like the vast majority of the candidates dropping out. DeSantis can't stay in. I don't imagine. I can't imagine that Vivek announced his drop. The only person who would have the goal to kind of stick around, I think, is going to be Nikki Haley. And I, I just don't see her la I mean, like, with the overwhelming majority of people voting Trump, I mean, it's, it seems like it's going to be a dramatic waste of time unless they're the, the Republican Party is just going to sabotage itself in this upcoming thing, which is a possibility. I mean, they, they, they you can't put it past the Republican Party to shoot itself in the foot. So that being said, you know, but then they're making predictions. Like, I mean, like it was a Wells Fargo banker was talking that Joe Biden is going to drop out of the race after the DNC primary, making it the first time that the basically the Democratic constituency will not have voted for their own candidate. Like they'll just the DNC will just put somebody in there instead of allowing the DNC because there's not enough time for them to vote or primary a new candidate. Yeah. So this would be profound and unheard of in the history of the United States as far as the DNC's primary goes well you say that though but i said but like with the whole like bernie sanders situation like i said like didn't he like get like removed from the ballot during the dnc process during the 2016 election for that's Hillary or something the, like that the conspiracy of it but like i mean if you you remember you watched sean fitzgerald you know he kind of did a breakdown of why bernie sanders wasn't as popular as people thought he was yeah, you know true. like so there, there is – like I said, you could argue – I'm sure there's some really good cases to be pled for Bernie being sabotaged out of the – sorry about that no, – uh, being sabotaged out of the DNC. But I, I think I've seen enough sufficient evidence to show that he actually wasn't – his ideas are not as popular as people think. I mean because he is a radical yeah, he's, socialist, he's, he is radical. A, yeah, he is, yeah, he's a Marxist, you know. Socialist, communist type—that's for sure—and that doesn't sit well with the old school Democrats. No, it does. It sure. does not sit well, especially, especially with, since they grew up in the Cold War era. <laughs> absolutely, it doesn't sit well with you know, blue dog Democrats, blue dog Democrats in the you know, I mean, in the Midwest area. It's like they look at him like, why did that guy go to to Russia during the Cold War to have his marriage ceremony? Like that's just he went on his honeymoon. That's so weird, yep. you know, and so. Definitely you just kind of left to look. I mean, a lot, especially people. I mean, granted, you know, all the kids of this new generation that have no ties to this country, no patriotic pride, just be, oh, that's cool, man. He's against the establishment, you know. So there's a lot of those, you know, anti-establishment radical socialist kids that are like, yeah, he's great, but that's because they don't have any patriotic. They don't feel any patriotic duty to this country. Yeah. So that's that's the that's an issue there with. The Bernie Sanders. So I understand the argument that you're making that, like I said, but I, I look, I've seen sufficient evidence to prove that, you know, Hillary Clinton was just the, you know, she's kind of like the name brand candidate. And that's, like I said, name recognition is literally everything. That's what all of the, I mean, the, the Ben Shapiro types and, you know, all those are going, Trump has game recognition. Everybody else is screwed because his, he has 100% name brand recognition. Like Vivek was 
you know, coming up out of nowhere. He did a great job coming up out of nowhere in a very short amount of time, but he didn't have enough time to establish himself. And like I said, again, Trump is like, you know, it's the, do you go with the devil you know or the devil you, you don't, don't know? know? You know, and a lot of us are going to choose the devil we know because it's terrifying to go with the devil we don't, yep. you know? So it's, that's what it is. You know, it's like he just didn't have enough time to establish it. And like I said, he is the dark horse. He came out of absolutely nowhere. I mean, I he, he impressed me in the very short amount of time that I got to view him in this race. And I said, I hope he sticks around and has a career in this. And I would love to see Trump pick him up as a VP. That would be really cool. Absolutely. But, you know, and then maybe he could be the next on the primary Republican ticket. That would be very cool. Because like I said, a lot of these establishment kind of shill folks, you know, it's just, it's boring. You know, listen, like, I mean, that's why the RNC debates were dead. Because they're just boring. It's just the same old stuff. And, you know, that's why, the, in my opinion, Vivek surged so well is because he was taking hardball questions and everybody, he just be like, shoot, ask me whatever you want to know. And like I said, you know, the Nikki Haley's and the Ron DeSantis's, if they did that. not, if their question was not scripted, they wouldn't take it or they wouldn't field it. And that's and that's a problem. If, if you have a conviction and you're not able to stand by your convictions without, you know, just off the cuff... Then you're on it. Now you can obviously shoot yourself in the foot and answer something inappropriately, or maybe not have a fully formulated thought, you know, finalized. But like I said, if you can't stand on your own principles and your own morality, then you're kind of, I mean, what what are you doing? So that that that's it. That's the whole lot that's been going on in the national news. Essentially, is that Republican caucus. And like I said, we're we'll be keeping our eyes open to see if Biden does end up dropping out, and if like I said, for the first time in history the Democrats will not allow a primary, and they just literally primary their own candidate through the DNC instead of doing it through a national primary, which will be a very scary thought and will set a very scary precedent in the fu- for future yeah, elections. Like, yep, you know, I mean, true. like I said, it, it, it could be a test run to see how much they can get away with, you know. Yeah. And like I said, if it, you know, I— <sighs> You know, I have very fa- little faith in the political system, you know, but like I said, it's— the best one we've got going for us compared to everything else, you know. It's the, our political system is the worst one there is. That's true. Compared to everything, uh, you know. Compared to everything else. Uh, but th- yeah, compared to everything else, yeah. So, so it's it is what it is. So we are uh, we we have a lot of checks and balances, and thankful for that. We're very thankful for that. So now, that's about all we've got for you today. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the uh, the weather and temperatures outside, and just be safe driving around out there today, folks, because it is still freezing out so you have a wonderful day this is the twins with the wasso live we are signing out god bless y'all